Hi, this is Vonda. I'm with KVP International. And my name's Tess. We're here to show you the Balto Jump Brace today. So with the Balto Jump, we are primarily focused on CCL injuries, the cranial cruciate ligament, and with medial patellar luxations, which we tend to see more often in smaller patients. This particular brace, we're going to palpate the patella or the kneecap as we're trying to center this opening here to position it. The Balto Jump is also one of our braces that is specific to left or right side. We do have a medial and a lateral aluminum support that are inside these pockets here. These can be removed when you're washing them. This is gonna give all of that support needed if we are trying to buy time to raise funds for surgery or maybe we wanna just immobilize the joint so that they can build some scar tissue and heal from injury. As you can see on this patient here, we have a couple of different ways that we can apply this brace depending on male or female anatomy. With the male anatomy, we actually have the brace on the left knee here with a strap that comes up over the back of the hip and there's an anchor strap on the right leg. Now, to keep this strap from sliding off over the tail, we're actually going to attach another strap to a harness. You may see on some propaganda or with some of your friends that it's attached to a collar, but the patients are far more comfortable if you put this anchor strap on a harness. It's just a little bit more stable. Again, as you can see on this patient, we have the left knee brace on. This is one of those where almost 80% of the dogs who tear their cranial cruciate ligament, they are likely to go ahead and injure the opposite leg because they take on so much more stress. We often recommend bilateral use if you have bilateral injury or putting a brace on the contralateral limb for support. So I have the right-sided brace here in my hand so you can see the difference in the left and the right side. So if you were to put these on both legs, instead of anchoring to the anchor strap, this strap coming up over the hip is actually just going to attach to the lateral side of the opposite brace. So if you wanna do that for contralateral support, or let's say that we did go ahead with a TTA, a TT, or a TPLO, or a lateral suture technique to repair the injured knee, you can also use these braces on the opposite knee to support them during surgical recovery. So Vonda, is there a different placement of the brace that you would do for a female dog rather than a male dog? Yeah, so depending on their anatomy and the way that we're gonna anchor this, so this is on this patient for male anatomy with the anchor brace on the opposite leg. For female anatomy, it is sometimes easier and more, a lot more stable. If you take this strap that's on the lateral side here, you're gonna wrap all the way around the belly and it's actually gonna to attach to the medial side of this brace. So just make sure you come in front of the opposite leg and then still use the anchor strap to the harness for increased stability. So how do I know what size to order for my dog? So there are three different measurements when it comes to the jump brace. So when you take these three measurements, write them down. Quite often, we're gonna find ourselves in a couple of different categories, but you're gonna take those measurements to drop into a list. So what we wanna do is we wanna measure the circumference around the top of the hock here the upper thigh, so that's gonna give you two of your measurements, and then the length of the leg. So these three measurements are gonna show if you need a small, medium, large, or otherwise. It is possible to get measurements for three different sizes. If you get measurements for three sizes, go with the middle size. If you have measurements for two sizes, go with the smaller of the two. If you've ever worn a brace on your wrist, your ankle, your knee, or otherwise, we need to make sure we get enough compression to actually give the joint support. So at what age is this brace recommended for use? So with this particular brace, you definitely want to work with your veterinarian. If you have a younger dog or a puppy that maybe has been predisposed to medial patellar luxation especially, or let's say we've had a very active Australian Shepherd that went out to chase a squirrel in the yard and came back in limping. If they're younger, we of course want to worry about their growth patterns, their growth plates. So work with your veterinarian to decide how often and how long you want to use a brace prior to surgery. Can this brace be used in place of surgery? So if any of our braces are gonna be used as an alternative to surgical procedures, this one is the one most often chosen. Typically a CCL tear catches us off guard and surgery can be quite costly. So while you save up the funds for surgery, use this as your alternative and your support item until surgery is an option. Or if you have a patient that is not medically stable for surgery, you can still give them quite a bit of knee support by using the Balto Jump. So how long should I keep my dog in the brace each day? So with the Balto Jump, we want to help transition them into longer periods of time by starting with 30 minutes the first day. 
work up to an hour, two hours, and ultimately 12 hours on and 12 hours off. We don't normally recommend that they sleep in the brace and you don't wanna leave them unsupervised, but if you need to walk away from them for a few minutes, pair this with one of our preferred e-collars. So how long does it typically take for my dog to be able to adapt to a brace like this? So most patients adapt to wearing this brace within one to two weeks. Again, starting with that 30 minute time frame and working up to the 12 hours on and 12 hours off. Definitely making sure that skin and coat get a chance to breathe. So give them a good couple weeks to adjust. When you first fit and you wanna make sure that they are mobile and have the support they need for the brace, take them outside to the yard, a gravel area, somewhere that they're more encouraged to move with the brace on because sometimes in the clinic on a hard floor, they're still just a little bit reluctant. They've not worn the brace before and they get a little bit worried about having something on their legs. So just help them through that transition period. Oftentimes, if you can offer them a Kong toy, especially in the first couple of days of wearing this and ongoing, freeze some peanut butter in it, give them the Kong when you put the brace on and they will adjust much faster. Okay, and you touched on being outdoors. Is this brace waterproof as well? So it's not waterproof, but it is okay if it gets wet. You're just gonna hang to dry. When you need to wash it, remove the medial and the lateral aluminum supports from the pockets and you can cold hand wash it and hang to dry. If you have any additional questions on the Balto Jump, please leave those in the comment section below this video and a member of our KVP Ortho team will get a hold of you as soon as we can.